If you were no longer affected by the judgment of others and you stopped judging yourself, would you make different choices? Why make choices in your life based on judgments instead of on your awareness of what would create the life and living you desire? Everyone has the potency to make inspired choices. Get ready to listen, share, and experience the creativity that is you. Now, here is the host of Inspired Choices Radio Show, Possibilities Coach Christine McIver. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on a to zenfm Well, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I am really looking forward to this show. This show um, was actually created uh, during an experience I had uh, just over a month ago, and uh, it has been a vision changing some of the things in my world. And I'm hoping that it's going to be a contribution to you. So welcome, everyone. I am Christine McIver, and I am the host of Inspired Choices Radio. And I am excited to bring to you another evening of fun and play. And I would love, if you're listening live, if you would come join me in the backstage in the chat room on a to zen.fm on the red menu bar. You will see chat room. Just come on in and play with us, ask questions, and all the contributions that you're being when you're there is huge for every single one of our hosts, including myself. It would be an honor to have you join in. And if you are listening in the replay and any of this pops for you, you'd like to make a comment or you'd like to ask some questions, please feel free to give me a call and... um We can go from there. So tonight, the radio show we are doing is you They've Got the Wrong Room. And before we get into all of that, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about myself. So I am a possibilities coach. And what that is, is I work with individuals and organizations to create more possibilities that they desire. We all have desires. And a lot of the times we're not sure which direction to go in, where to turn, where to really begin. And I work with individuals and companies to help them to move into those directions with greater ease, more laughter, more possibilities to change the world that they know they desire to change in the places and spaces that aren't working for them. I am an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator. I am an energy healer, a radio show host, and producer, as well as the owner of a to zenfm And I love creating. I am continuously looking at, oh, I could do this, I could do that. And I'm very excited to announce, co-created a TV spot that just aired today. And uh, perhaps one of the producers can post that in the chat room and perhaps even in the posting for this radio show. So if you are listening, you'll be able to get on that link to the actual um, TV spot. It was so exciting to create that. And each and every time I'm stepping into creating with individuals or organizations, we create even more and more and more. It, it, it's like you know, planting seeds and the next seed and the next seed and things continue to grow. And I love working with individuals to create that with them. So if you were lo- if you're looking for something else in your life, if you're looking for something else to expand your life, your living, your business, your relationships, if you're looking to create greater ease, I would love to work with you. Now, I give everyone five minutes, no cost. Give me a call. We'll have a conversation and see if it's a match for you. You can connect with me at inspiredchoices.ca. You can email me, Christine at inspiredchoices.ca, or you can find me on adazen.fm under the hosts and Inspired Choices. And uh, we'll see what we can do to create even more fun and more play in the world. You know, one of the things that I get to do in my in my life and in my business is to create amazing radio shows and also other individuals that love doing radio and, and desire to also get their voice out there. So if you are looking to have a platform to bring your message to the world, if you're looking to have a platform or or just an opportunity to speak once, we have both of those available to you. We've just, 
We have just gone live with our open mic spotlight on adazen.fm and we are going to be looking to host you and to promote you in the world so people can find you and hear the greatness that you have to, to share. And if you would like to know more about that opportunity or to become your own host on adazen.fm, I am also the individual that you'll want to connect with So at inspiredchoices.ca. You know, one of the things that I have, I'm passionate about is having people step into more of who they be and the brilliance and the contribution that they can be if they will choose themselves in the world now and in the future. And that's one of the reasons that doing radio and actually owning the station, that's one of the things that really turns me on. to get to create the playground where you can be more and show up more. And uh, it's so much fun. It's 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 truly exhilarating to be on these different radio shows with all of these amazing hosts and uh, to be totally hearing um, all of their amazing creations in the world and, and watching them expand and expand and expand. And I know that together, the desire, just the desire to create greater, we do. So I would love to hear from you. And if you have any questions, comments, just send me an email, Christina at inspiredchoices.ca. So tonight... They've got the wrong room. What? I get to have this? It must be for another room. How many times are you refusing the contribution that's knocking at your door? Are you even listening to the knock? What if you are the only one who is stopping the gravy train to your joy and bank account? What would happen if you started to work for you? So I started the show by saying that this tonight's show actually came out of an event. So I was in Seattle, Washington for a, a class, and I had arrived. Um, we, we had flown all night, actually, and hadn't had much sleep, my uh, friend and I, and we were you know, getting ready because there was an evening event. And we woke up, we both got showered, and as we were getting ready, there was a knock at the door, like literally a knock at the door. And, you know, you go to the door. We weren't expecting anyone. I went to the door. I looked through the keyhole, and I could see that there was a, a, a bellboy there, and he had this beautiful tray in his hand with a gorgeous bottle of wine, two wine glasses, and a beautiful array of cheese and crackers and nuts and all sorts of all sorts of yummy things. And I looked at my friend, and I said, Petrina, like, I must have the wrong room. And she's like, what is it? And I explained it to her, and then I opened the door, and the gentleman said, the gentleman said that, um, I, I gave him a very odd look, and I said, really? And I said, what's that for? And he said, well, it's your anniversary. It's for your anniversary. And my girlfriend, and not my girlfriend as in we're not gay, <laughs> she's we're both very much straight um we just looked at each other and we just smiled and i said oh thank you and i just reached out and i received the beautiful tray and yet myself and patrina we were both still in the really really and we opened i opened up the card and it, it, it actually said on on the envelope at the front it says the mciver party and i'm like okay, so th that's my name, and, and they did send it to the right room if it was to come to me, and yet still in this in this doubt, and I opened up the envelope, and inside the card actually said, thank you for choosing to stay with us. Have a wonderful stay in our hotel. And we kind of looked at each other. We were confused, and, and we were like, Wow, how does it get any better than that? And yet there was still this energy. Can you guys perceive this? There was still this energy of really? Or did they really get it right? Like why would they send that to us? So while we were pouring the wine, we were asking some questions and we began to take some pictures and we were laughing. But there was still this energy of, hmm, really? Like how did that happen? Like why would they do that? So looking for the reason that somebody knocked on the door, that somebody actually gave us that. 
And so what was very, very cool about it was it really had a step into looking at this whole conversation. I think they've got the wrong room. And how much of, um, oh, right, what Rhonda is saying in the chat room, yeah, I didn't do anything to deserve this. So how many places and spaces are you looking to where can I deserve this? What do I have to do or be to deserve it? And, you know, is it possible? Well, what, what, you know, would it really come to me? So all of these energies of doubt, energies of, oh, I don't know if I'm really going to get it. And it was really, really big. And it was interesting because what followed over the next few weeks really falls into alignment with this. So we are going for our first break of the night. And when we come back, I want to dive even deeper into this. And I would love you, if you're joining in the chat room, or if you haven't yet, I'd love you to join us in the chat room. I would love you to share some experiences where you were doubting what you were actually receiving and what that actually created for you or didn't create for you. Look at a time, whether you know it was recent or even in the, in the far past, where you were receiving but refusing the actual receiving. So you are listening to Inspired Choices Radio on AtoZen.fm, and tonight we are talking about they've got the wrong room. And when we get back, we'll get deeper into this conversation so you can actually open the door and fully receive the knock. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Many of us make choices in our lives based on the past or what others think. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire in this moment? By tuning into Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to create the life and living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show. What if there's nothing wrong with you? What if you're far greater than you've ever given yourself credit for? What if it's time to know the gift and the contribution you are to the world and to like yourself a lot more? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question and everything changed for me. Asking questions opens doors to infinite possibilities. And it's not about finding the answer. It's about being the question, always. What I'm inviting you to step into is something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Gandhi, Picasso, and Aristotle all knew to be true. What if no question is too big or too small? What if anything is possible for you? What if together we could create a kinder, gentler, happier world? Is now the time? Go to beingyouclass.com and sign up for a free video series, My Gift to You. Beingyouclass.com What if you, truly being you, are the gift and change this world requires? beinguclass.com. When you're pondering the big questions like, is there more than this? How can I have a happy relationship? What would it take to like my body? And how do I make more money? Where do you go for information and tools? Check out the online store at accessconsciousness.com. Accessconsciousness.com has books, DVDs, instant video and audio downloads, online classes and so much more. Subjects include abuse, changing your body, recovery, raising children, business techniques, tools to generate more money, how to have better sex and healthier relationships, just to name a few. At accessconsciousness.com, you can also find facilitators who teach local classes on a variety of subjects. Accessconsciousness.com, your one-stop shop for tools to assist you in changing your life. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. Go to accessconsciousness.com to learn more. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S. 815-880-8255. Talk or Canada 613-800-8736. Or you can Skype us. Our Skype name is a2zen.fm. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email 
by sending to Christine at InspiredChoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Okay, thank you for coming back, everyone. I am really happy to talk about this conversation tonight because I do perceive that a lot of us are actually refusing the knock at the door in more than one way, uh, probably millions of ways. So as, as Katrina and I continue to have the conversation about this, I started to look at where I was actually looking for reason and justification that I should be receiving something that I should be receiving the wine, that I should be getting the, 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 the cheese and the crackers and the, the yumminess and the upgrades and all this, all of that should energy, which is really push, right? So it's this, we, we, we kind of do a lot of different things all at the same time, right? We do this, I don't believe it, but at the same time, we're looking at other people that have it, and then we go, well, why am I not getting that? What about me? And that's where I started to go, after this occurred, so, you know, we're on social media a lot, and there's a lot of brilliant people out there creating, and I'm seeing some amazing beings creating, oh my gosh, so much in their lives and in their businesses, with their relationships, and, you know, you only see, I, at least I find, that a lot of times what, what we see on social media are the things that really tweak us and really um irritate us. Oftentimes we're seeing the things that we desire that we don't have. They're the things that really jump out of it. And for me, what started to occur over the couple of weeks after this is I started to see very much some individuals that were creating brilliantly and they were expanding their business and they were expanding their relationships in ways that I wasn't there yet. And I started to go into this energy of what about me? And it would show up in intense, intense anger. And it, then it would show up in, I would start to do separation with that person. They didn't know about it, <laughs> at, least, at least not verbally. They may have picked up on it energetically. But it started to tweak my world massively. So, you know, if, if that's something that you are experiencing or you have experienced, would you be willing to start looking at this? When I began to look at, okay, what is this? Because anything that's heavy is a lie, right? We know anything that's heavy is a lie. Now, when you're in that intense energy, you really don't want to hear somebody say that to you. And I so get that. And some of my very dear friends who have my back, they totally know, okay, are you ready to hear this? Like, they will totally check on, it. can she receive it yet? And sometimes it's a no. <laughs> they step away from the phone or the computer. Just let her be. <laughs> but when I'm ready to actually look at it, and even though I'm angry or frustrated, whatever energy I'm in at the time, I start to look at it and go, this is not working for me. Me being angry because somebody else is creating, that is ridiculous. Like, what is this? And I got that there was this old energy of like, even when I was a child, like, what about me? When's it my turn? You know, and, and really like, can you perceive the three-year-old me stamping my feet and pouting? Oh my God, I was the best foot stomper ever. I would pound up the stairs. I would slam as many doors as I could. I was literally, there were four doors upstairs. There was a door going to our upstairs. I would slam the hell out of that. How these doors never fell off their hinges is amazing. And then I would get upstairs to all of the doors, and I would literally go in, into every single one of them. Slam! And then I open the door and I go to the next one. Slam! And I go to the next. One. Oh my gosh! I slammed so many doors. Oh my god! Isn't that funny? It's all about doors tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I slammed so many doors because it wasn't my turn. It wasn't about me. And how many places and spaces are we actually slamming the door and buying that we have to take turns, that we have to wait till it's our turn? Well, what if you don't have to wait anymore? What if you were willing to look at all your ugly bits and all of these energies that you bought into, you had to wait in line, you had to wait your turn, you had to deserve it, you had to do something to deserve it, you had to make sure that you looked pretty, you had to make sure that everything was in the right department, 
in the right compartment, in the right set up absolutely perfectly, everything was exactly as it should be so it would be received before you could deserve it? Would you be willing to give all of that up? So everywhere that you're still buying, that you have to wait to deserve anything, would you please be willing to destroy and create all of that now? And everything that is, times a godzillion, let's destroy and create it all, right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pottle, nine shirts, boys and beyond. So what, what are we actually refusing with this lie of what about me? What about me actually speaks to the belief system that the universe doesn't have your back. It actually speaks to an energy that all is not here for all of us to claim, receive, and have just for the asking. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, if you don't know me personally, I'm going to tell you that I spent a lot of my life, a lot of energy trying to make it work so that I could finally have all that I desired. And there have been moments, precious moments, of knowing I don't have to do anything to receive it. It's like when you look at a beautiful newborn baby and you're just in the joy of their presence. That baby doesn't have to do anything but be to have everyone around them desire desire to be in their presence, and desire to gift to them. Well, do you know that you are that precious being still to this very day and that the universe actually desires to gift to you? But you are waiting to fulfill all the, you know, check off all of the boxes before you can receive it. So what if... Somebody said earlier in the chat room, it, uh, um, Faith said she was waiting for, hold on, i got to find her. She was waiting for the, I knew it was the wrong room, waiting for the other shoe to drop. How many of us are in that space of waiting for the other shoe to drop, right? And we're kind of like, we've got this deprecation of, of receiving that, that tray of beautiful wine and cheeses, but yet expecting somebody to take it back, expecting it to be taken back. Oh, this can't be true. This can't be true. And then Carol said, how humiliating would that be? Well, that made me think, are we, are we less willing to just be bold and receive and say, thank you, awesome, are we more are we more afraid to be humiliated than we are desiring to receive? So in the worry about being humiliated or embarrassed or laughed at, how much are we actually cutting off receiving? A child doesn't care what somebody thinks when they want something. They want it. They will they will embarrass their parents, they will scream and shout and carry on. Have you ever seen a child in the grocery store? And I had two of them that did this. But they're in the grocery store, right? And they're screaming and yelling and they're having a fit. My daughter would get on the floor and she would wail. Swear to God, everybody in that grocery store knew that there was a kid screaming in every point of that grocery store. And the minute I would give her what she wanted, because there were moments when I gave in to her, there was absolute silence. There was just this beautiful smile and the eyes would blink and, and her whole body would just light right up because thank you. <laughs> and she just took it, right? She just took it. Whatever she desired, she took it. Would you be willing to take what it is that you desire in this world knowing that it's there for you, knowing it's waiting for you? What do you know that you're refusing to know that if you would know it about what you actually have available to you to receive would actually create the having with total ease? And everything that doesn't allow that, times a godzillion, let's destroy it and create all that. Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine shirts, boys and beyond. So if you buy into to 
the belief system that someone can humiliate you, then you're actually in agreeing and aligning with humiliation, which is a form of judgment, right? But we know that judgment is not real. We know that judgment is a lie. And you can't be tweaked by that unless you are agreeing and aligning with it or you're refusing and resisting it. If you actually use the amazing tool of interesting point of view, with no point of view of whether that you got to receive it and keep it or, you know, oh, it was the wrong room and you didn't go into reaction to that. Like, can you imagine if they actually said to me, came to the door five minutes later and said, oh, sorry, it actually was for the wrong room, it was the room next door, and I went into a hissy fit of a three-year-old like I used to. Can you imagine how that would stick me in my reality for many, many days and months to come? But if I just went, oh, okay, cool, and just gave and said, okay, universe, what else is possible? Can you see how you can move in and out of this and how when you're not, you don't have these walls of limitation up that the universe can actually contribute greater to you? So where are you refusing to receive more and more in your life? But because you have a point of view of how it has to show up or who it has to come from or what you have to do to precede that is actually stopping it. Or this belief that it can't possibly come to me that easy. Earlier today, I was having a moment, you know, as we all do. I was having a moment of, Argh! and I was talking with Rhonda Burns, one of my co-creators in this brilliant lifetime. And, you know, she just said something like, you know, well, what else is possible? Hey, universe, how can it come with greater ease? So I went, I took a little break away from the computer, and I said, okay, universe, I need to see that you have my back. I need you to show me this. You know, I was asking for it. And not less than a half an hour later, I had a conversation with someone else, and I received a massive contribution from this person that I never surmised about, anticipated, even, it it never even came into my reality. But because I asked the universe without a point of view of how it had to show up, it started to open the doors for me. Now, if you are in the patterning of it has to show up this way or if it doesn't show up this way or I'm not deserving or what about me, if you're in any of that, it's contraction. And there's a ton of conclusions in all of that, right? If you were to drop your conclusion about this is the way it was in the past, this is how it is for everybody else, if you dropped all of that, Just, you know, put it in the closet. You can go get it later if you really want to. But if you were to just put that away and you were literally to say, hey, universe, please show me you've got my back. Hey, universe, I really need, I really need your support here. Hey, universe, I could use something brilliant today. Universe, show me something beautiful. Universe, what else is possible? If you were really to step into knowing that the universe has your back and that you have your back, you can begin to receive. But you see, you can't receive if you believe that you have to do something or that you have to show up in a particular way. So this is a really important piece to stepping into that yummy, playful I know this is here for me. I know that this is possible. This is extremely important that we begin to move through this. So we're going to take another break. We're going to go to our second break. And when we come back, I'm going to refer to some of the great stuff going on in the chat room. And if you would like to call in with any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. The number in the U.S. is 815-880-8255. In the U.S., it's 613-800-8736. So you can join us in the chat room at a to zen.fm forward slash chat room. So you are listening to Inspired Choices Radio on a to zen.fm, and we will be right back. Many of us make choices in our lives based on the past or what others think. 
What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire in this moment? By tuning into Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to create the life and living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show. What would you say if I told you that you could change your life in only one hour and all while lying down relaxing? Thousands of people all over the world have. What am I talking about? It's called Access Consciousness The Bars. The Bars is an energetic body process that contains 32 different points on your head that when run assist you in releasing decisions about any area of your life that you have made solid and as a result cannot change. The Bars is the first class in Access Consciousness a dynamic set of tools and information designed to transform any area of your life. When you have a bar session, the worst that can happen is you feel like you had a fantastic massage. The best thing that can happen is your whole life could change. Go to accessconsciousness.com today to find a facilitator to schedule a private session or to find a bars class in your area. Are you willing to give yourself an hour to change your life? This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S. 815-880-8255, talk, or Canada 613-800-8736, or you can Skype us. Our Skype name is a2zen.fm. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. All right, welcome back, everyone. You are listening to Inspired Choices on a to zen.fm. Before we jump back into the show, I want to just tell you a little bit about some of the creations that I'm involved with. First of all, I have a wonderful foundation class, which is an access consciousness class, that's going on in Sudbury, Ontario, February the 19th through the 22nd. We would love to have you come play. It's a gorgeous place in Sudbury. Oh, my God, I love the rock in northern Ontario. It, it just, my body lights up with the energy of the rock up there. And that, that town is actually referred to as the rock. Um, then I have the foundation class here in Toronto, March 11th through the 14th. And I am co-hosting Juna Guter, who is doing a three-day body class here in Toronto, May the 6th through the 8th. Would love to have you join us in those classes. As well, I am involved in the BIG movement, which is what I was referring to, that um, the TV show that I was actually um, participated in recently that went live today in the broadcast. Uh, the BIG movement is the Bodacious Invitation to Greatness, and my co- co-creator in brilliance is Rhonda Burns, and that is something that is really starting to get a ton of momentum. I'm so grateful for that TV appearance, and we are now looking at the second wave of the choosing BIG, and I believe we're going to be announcing, I have to get the okay from the other boss, <laughs> I believe we're going to be announcing the second phase of BIG, and um, that's going to be coming up just in the next few weeks. I'm very excited to see the creations on that. As well, I do private individual sessions. I love to work with individuals in business. And I do that in person, over the phone, or over Skype. So if that's something that you would love to do to expand, create, uh, maybe even come up with shows, show ideas for radio shows, book ideas, uh, I actually have a great capacity to work with individuals um, with their creations with titles. So you can connect with me at christine at inspiredchoices.ca. So before we went to um, break, we were talking about the uh, the actual receiving and how much we cut it off with our points of view. And in the chat room, Faith had actually said um, that she was refusing to receive because of a fear of being laughed at. Oh, my gosh, Faith, I totally can identify with that. 
she said it happened in her childhood a few times, and then she said I might want to let go of that. Yeah, but how much is that actually locked into our automatic programming, right? That we get into this thing, you know, I don't want, I don't want to be laughed at, so I'm going to hold back where we're not asking a question, we're actually recreating based on an assumption, right? Um, so all of the places and spaces where you're assuming you're going to recreate the same trauma and drama based on everybody else's points of view, would you like to destroy and create all that type of godzillion? Awesome. Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And your right face, a story, you could tell a story and that could keep you locked in for years and years and years. And I would suspect lifetimes. And how many people are, are holding on to those stories as reason and justification for not actually opening the door and receiving even greater. We, we allow the past trauma and drama to dictate our present and create our future out of our choices of buying into the lives of the past because they were lies then and they don't have to be now. You can actually make another choice. So Rhonda says, I wonder how many people don't answer the door when they don't choose things like classes, travel meetings, etc. Yeah, like lots and lots of people are actually not opening the door because they're going into, well, it didn't happen in the past. It, it never happened before, so how can it possibly, or is it really going to happen this time? Or just this massive energy of doubt that looms over us because we're still buying into the what about me. We're actually refusing the possibilities. And I have done that my whole life as well. And I'm not saying it may not come up tomorrow, but I'm willing to keep looking at it. So if this is something that you have done five minutes ago, five years ago, five lifetimes ago, and it's popping up for you and you'd like to change it, would you just be willing to look at it no matter what? Because you're willing to acknowledge this is what's happening and not allow it to, to take over. It's kind of like the energy of you, if you're a child and you're in bed and you're imagining that there's something under the bed and it's actually paralyzing you from getting up and turning on the light and looking at it. But you're just in the, you're just marinating in the, I'm sure it's there, I'm sure it's there, I'm sure it's there. Without actually stepping, taking a step forward. If you would be willing to take that step forward and turn on the light and see that the lies are not true, that the darkness is only there because you are refusing to turn on the light, to step into it, you actually can have it all. It's not just for the lucky few. It is actually the limitations we put around ourselves by our belief systems. And when you actually will start to look at it, to not be afraid of it anymore. Like, I'm telling you guys, I'm stepping in more and more and more of, I'm going to look at my stuff. I'm going to look at the ugly bits of me because I am willing to open the door. I am willing to have way more. So, if we don't have a point of view, if we no longer have a point of view about how it comes to us, who it comes from, where it comes from, or when it comes, it actually can come with greater ease. So I, I said to you about the, the, uh, the TV spot that I did with uh, Living 365. Living 365 TV is an, uh, an online TV show, and you know, I'm I'm over here creating the BIG movement with, with Rhonda Burns and we're having so much fun in it and just enjoying the energy of it, enjoying the creation, enjoying all of the changes that are occurring for myself and everyone that was involved in the first call. And Priya, Allie, who is the owner of Living 365, she contacts me and she says, Christine, I would love to have you on the TV and I would love to have you come and talk about your movement. I'm like, what? Wow, how does it get any better than that? I That actually occurred on the first day of the first call of VIG. So I wasn't out there going, okay, now who's going to pick us up and who's going to actually, you know, pay attention to us and, and where is it going to show up and, like, how do we make this happen, right? It wasn't that push energy. It was really 
the excitement in the creation of where we were. And it was really about us being more present in the moment of that creation that allowed that invitation to come even more. And so when she did that, it was like, holy moly, how does it get any better? And and it just started to come. And this is what has actually been happening more and more in my life and in my business. When I am not actually in the point of view of how, who, by whom, where, when, it starts to change it exponentially. So, you know, this show is, is live right now, um, the Wednesday before Valentine's Day in 2016. How does it get any better? And it just popped into my mind, you know, how many of us for Valentine's are looking for how the, the Valentine spoiling should show up, when it should show up, who it should show up by, and, you know, where it should show up, all of those, right? We're in all of this should, should, should expectation, right? And how much are we actually projecting at that event? Are we projecting at that individual? Are we projecting at all of those objects that we demanding on some level for it to come, whether it's 1% or 100%, which is actually cutting off the ways it can come in from others, ways that can, it can come from the universe, right? So if you are looking to have some fun in your life, would you be willing to receive it from anywhere? If you're looking to have some yummy, juicy sex, would you be willing to receive it from more than one person? If you're looking, it could be you. It doesn't have to be another being. It could be you. If you're looking to have more yummy chocolate or you're looking to have some yummy wine or a beautiful dinner, would you be willing to make it for yourself? Would you be willing to enjoy it with a friend, a family member, someone that brings you joy? If you weren't projecting it, do you see how you could be receiving it more? When projection actually puts up walls and then you start to laser it at something which cuts off what you could actually be receiving. We are standing there like I was the three-year-old with my hands on my hips. I was, I was seriously so cute. But I'm standing there with my hands on my hips, right, tapping my toes, going, where is it? Where's mine? Where's mine? You know, the ninth of ten kids, <laughs> I think I was probably doing a little bit of that, right? And how much did I cut off because I was in this contracted energy of expectation? A ton. An absolute ton. But when you are in your play and your joy and your possibilities and you're even in your craft but choosing to move beyond it, you start to break down those walls and receive even more. So all of the places and spaces where you've been projecting expectation of how the universe is supposed to show up for you, would you please destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So We've got, I just want to look in the chat room and then we're going to go to our second break. So, um, Faith said she's aware of some deathbed promises and more than I need to revoke. Cool. So, all the places and spaces where you agreed and aligned with, uh, I promise to always, to never. Would you like to destroy and create all that, Sons of God's Billion? <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, puck, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So being in the moment, just being here, just being here right now, drop your barriers, hear my words, just be here right now. What is it you desire? That if you would be willing to literally open your arms up to the universe, have your hands facing up, could actually receive more as opposed to the fifth type which is the contraction energy. Would you just be willing to open your hands and say, yes, I will have more. Thank you. Patty says, uh, my boyfriend has already told me we're not doing anything for Valentine's this year, so I'm not expecting anything. Cool. And Patty, what would you like to give to yourself? And who else would like to contribute to you, Patty? It may not. Does it have to be the boyfriend? Does it have to be someone else? Could you be doing it with and for you and could you know that there's way more out there in the world that is willing and ready to contribute to you and faith says i see that i am making the same projections about valentine's that i did about christmas cool so yeah 
I am willing to receive it from someone other than my number one choice. Yeah, so how much do we actually really push against someone else, which, you know what, even if they wanted to contribute to us, you know, we create this really messy energy with them that if they, even if they want to contribute to us, sometimes they can't because they're perceiving that push energy. So we are going to go for our last break of the night. How do these shows go so quickly when I had no idea how it was going to show up? (laughs) It's always interesting. But you know what? The one thing I do trust is the universe always has my back in the radio show. So what would it take for me to actually pull that into every place and space in my reality? Would you be willing to do the same? Find the one place and space where you trust the universe explicitly and pull it forward into all of your creations. Okay, we are going to go to our last break. You are listening to Inspired Choices here on A to Z dot FM, and we'll be back right after this commercial break. Many of us make choices in our lives based on the past or what others think. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire in this moment? By tuning into Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to create the life and living you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices Radio Show. What if you really do change molecules by your interaction with them? What if the change you've been looking for is right before your eyes? What if the uncomfortableness that comes with difference could be fun? What if the closed-minded people of the world no longer determined our world? What if gratitude trumps judgment every time? What if your kindness healed the world? What if the earth is asking for your help? And what if you had the resources to give it? This is your invitation to step into something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Picasso, Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Aristotle all knew to be true. Hi, my name is Dane here. Thirteen years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything changed for me. What if there are no dumb questions, or any question too large? What if you being you are the gift and the change this world requires? Is now the time? For more questions to create a change in your world, sign up for a free video series at beingyouclass.com. My gift to you, beingyouclass.com. This is Inspired Choices Radio Show with Possibilities Coach Christine McIver. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S. 815-880-8255, talk, or Canada 613-800-8736, or you can Skype us. Our Skype name is a2zen.fm. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. All right. Welcome back, everyone. So we are having some fun in the chat room. There's lots of conversation going on. I absolutely love it. And we're talking about um, one of the, the guests in the chat room is talking about how she would prefer it to receive it from her boyfriend whatever it is about Valentine's Day, and and how many of us have a preference and we turn it into an expectation, right? So whenever we have this and we start to really push at it, we actually push it from, from preference to expectation, which is total push energy. And that 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 push energy really stops that receiving. So how many places and spaces are you actually going from preference? So I would really like get the energy of this. Okay, so it's like, mmm, my yummy, yummy man, my yummy lover. Mmm, I would really love to enjoy you right now. I'd really love to enjoy you for Valentine's. Oh, it would be so much fun to play together. And ah, right? See how light and yummy that is? And then we go into when is it going to show up? Is it going to show up? Uh, Is he going to show up? Is he actually going to respond to me? Is this actually going to be happening? And poof, we start to push at it. So we lock out the possibilities of even that person coming in. So how many places and ways are you turning your preference into an expectation? Because it's not showing up by the person in that certain time period the way that we want it to show up, right? 
all the expectations that you have around your preferences showing up in the time that you decided it must show up? Would you like to destroy and create all that times a gazillion? Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all nine, short, boys, and beyond. I would absolutely love to invite you into playing with the possibility of, hey, who would love to play with me? Hey, who would love to enjoy? I would really prefer to have my yummy lover. And if it doesn't work with him, hmm, I wonder what else is possible. I wonder who else would like to have fun with me. I wonder who else would like to laugh and and really just enjoy each other. That can be a, a friend. That can be... You know, anyone, it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a replacement of that person. But when we take the pressure off, when you turn the pressure off of a, you know, the, 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 the steamed pot, I can't even think of it right now, pressure cooker pot, when you actually turn the pressure of that off, are you able to take the lid off more easily, right? When you are willing to really receive from everywhere in the world without a point of view of the who, the what, the where, the when, the how, your receiving expands exponentially. And you know what? I'll tell you, this is the icing on the cake of that. If you would actually go and have some friggin' fun (laughs) and you would actually go do what makes you happy, that can grow exponentially. And as my wonderful friend Rhonda Burns reminds me often, 17 seconds of joy can start to change it. Just 17 seconds. This is something by Abraham Hicks, is if we can just be in that energy for 17 seconds, we can start to shift it. And you know what? If you would really start to get clear around where you've got these tough spots, these rough spots, these these limitations, and you would be willing to look at it and change it no matter what. That's the demand of me. I don't care whatever it takes. I'm changing it. I have changed so much just in the last six weeks around things that have been with me my whole life. It's blowing my mind. And I'm so grateful for the people and the, and all of the, the places that it's showing up so I can change it because I am desiring to have greater in my life no matter what. And I'm starting to, you know, sweep the, the, the floor of all of the expectations so that the universe can contribute to me. And usually it's far greater than we can ever imagine. One of the ways that this is possible for me is I actually use access consciousness, the bars. It's a healing modality. It's phenomenal. I get my bars run every week, and it starts to help to unlock these limitations. Sometimes crap rises to the surface, but the great thing is it rises to the surface. It's no longer locked somewhere where I can't find it. And as it rises to the surface, along with my willingness to demand of me to step up no matter what, I start to change it. So my friends, I would love to to speak with you. I would love to hear from you about where this is locking down on you, where you are not able to get the change because I know the change is possible for each and every one of us. I would love to connect with you. You can connect with me through inspiredchoices.ca. You can connect with me on Facebook, Inspired Choices Inc., through our Living B-I-G which is an amazing creation of really stepping into more. And the second phase of living B.I.G. is going to be demanding B.I.G. And that has just been bubbling big time. So we had choosing B.I.G. and that one's going to be 2.0 is going shortly. And demanding B.I.G., the launch of that is happening very shortly as well. So we're super excited. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining me tonight. Please know that no matter what is occurring in your life, you can always make another choice. Please come back next week where we're going to have another amazing creation here on a to Zen.fm. Until then, my friends, start smiling. It looks great on you. Thank you for choosing to listen to Inspired Choices Radio Show. Christine McIver will return next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on A2Zen.fm. We hope you'll join us. 
Until then, have the best week of your life by making the choices that bring you all that you desire.